still ain't got it bumpy. Oh, child, and another thing, because I just got a comment on my photo, which I delete a lot of my negative comments because it's my page, and I'm sorry, but you're not coming to my page with that negativity. Um, but yeah, so a lot of people are, sometimes I'll entertain them, sometimes I will. But like this comment, I decided to entertain them because um, they pretty much was just talking about how, like, oh, why are you pointing the gun at his foot, or whatever, da 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 and so at the same time i want you guys to realize in what world or mindset do you think that i would ever ever have a loaded gun at my son's foot pointing at his foot period like if y'all even think for one second that the gun is loaded then you're stupid i'm sorry you're stupid like who takes a real loaded gun who takes a loaded gun to a photo shoot? Now, don't get me wrong. The gun is real. I know how to load it and unload it, period. But at the same time, I'm taking a photo. I'm holding a heavy-ass gun. I got one arm on my son, who is four, and he's constantly moving because, for one, he really doesn't like to take pictures. So, yet again, I say this. If the photo snapped and his foot just was in the way of the gun pointing down even though it's unloaded understand that it's a four-year-old that's moving probably and have some common sense and know that the gun isn't fucking loaded for a photo for a photo once again for a photo um it was no way shape form or fashion that i would ever do that with it being loaded but at the same time, I need y'all to understand that the gun isn't loaded. So that comment is kind of irrelevant. I just keep getting that comment a lot. And let me see what the guy said back. Let me see. So pretty much I just told him. And so, so what he said, why are you late? One guy said, why are you lasering his foot off though? And I said, so why do you think it's a loaded gun? You really think I have... You really think I would have a loaded gun just for a photo? Reckless mindset. And I put the laughing emojis. And, he, and so another guy, whoever J. Campbell is, is because he said, because you treat all firearms as if they are loaded, even if you know they are not, a hell of a lot of people get shot or die every year from someone aiming a firearm at them that they think is unloaded. And so I said once again to Jay Campbell, I said, okay, but yet again, I say this is my firearm and I know how to load and unload it. The gun was not intended to point at his foot by any means, but once again, it is not loaded. So I say reckless mindset yet again. Once again, period, people will pick at any photo, period. I do not condone in any type of negativity, but the fact that anybody was to ever think that that gun was ever loaded or to think that that was the purpose of this photo like it just blows my mindset y'all just do not like it, it just it baffles me baffles me that people even would think that oh it's uh she shouldn't even be pointing it at his foot da 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 da, da or whatever the case may be but at the same time y'all the gun is not loaded and then at the same time yet again that was never even the position that we started in to take the photo. So my son constantly moves, period, and we are taking a photo, period. So we took the photo and that was never the point for it to actually even happen, but the photo came out bomb anyway and I decided to keep it. So if anybody which i didn't even think anybody would think that way but evidently a lot of people do but it just blows my mind that people would even think like oh my god she got a loaded gun pointed at her son's foot oh my god never 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 so let me get off my soapbox because that is what i wanted to address here on my channel because this is almost done with her hair. So, here is my half up, half down look. This is how it's looking. Just need to do my makeup, really. But yeah, I like the fluffiness of it. 
It's really, really cute. This is really cute. y'all so makeup is done hair is done this is how it's looking so once again all the information to this unit will be down below in the description box this is the hair provided by long Quee hair um i believe it is their 12 inch bob um that i got up in a half up half down if you guys do not know i love half up half downs and so does my husband so that is why we're rocking a half up half down today so today i just got on this nirvana shirt with like some black biker shorts um pretty much today i please do not mind my room please so pretty much today all i decided to do was to kind of revamp my room a little bit um this little area right here it's dirty right now but um i don't have too much that's very cohesive with my theme of glam up here so um and i wanted to incorporate some more greenery in my room as well um so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is um try to go ahead and go to hobby lobby tj maxx and ross once again because i went yesterday to finish up my daughter's room uh which i'll show you guys in a minute um if you guys do not follow me on social media then baby you are missing out honey because i've already shown my youtube i've already shown my uh instagram followers and i've already shown my um snapchat followers my daughter's room already and yeah guys they love it um so but the reason why I'm deciding to go kind of spruce up my room again is because it's because my oldest boy came in and he's like is it just me or does Zion's room look better than you and dad's well thanks son thanks for telling me that my room looks ugly but uh anyway so i'm gonna go shop for my room um i'm gonna go shop for the master bedroom because like i said i want to bring in some more greenery um and i do need to um kind of spruce up my bedroom a little bit more um so now that covid and the oil field has kind of bounced back up a little bit um i'm able to spend a little bit more money on uh you know those things such as decorating and things like that so without further ado let me walk y'all into my daughter's room here's our living room if you guys never got a chance to see um but here is what our living room is looking like um our tv is mounted above the fireplace i've always wanted that um i got my spring easter themed stuff still here um which i'm gonna keep all of this because honestly this can flow right on into summer um so this is how it's looking right here i love this little wall right here y'all i love it love it love it love it i love having like gallery type of walls with like um um a bunch of like decorative little stuff on the wall as you can see it's there <laughs> and as you can see it's in our boys room as well they have a little decorative cute little wall as well uh with their little dinosaur prints on the wall and then going back here to this room but yeah y'all so this is how the room is looking. It's very glam, it's very boho, um, it's very chic. Um, I kind of wanted to merge everything in. Um, so that is why you see like the boho, the glam, the chic and everything like that. Like y'all, this camera probably doesn't do it any justice, but. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of go over a few pieces and tell you where I got them. So these little pieces right here on the wall, like these little three mirrors right here. Um, I got this in a set. It actually came from um, Burlington Coat Factory. Um, so if you guys have a Burlington, they do have a decor section. So make sure you guys check them out. So this little setup right here actually came from Hobby Lobby. Every single thing right here, up here, 
every little everything right here came from Hobby Lobby um, a lot of this stuff was a uh, 50% off so like this little picture frame right here it was regular price regular price for it was $12 um, but I got it 50% off so that is why I was able to pick up a lot of these little knickknacks and things like that. I'm so into like this greenery type of feel now. So uh, this plant came from Hobby Lobby as well. This um, this little picture frame came from Hobby Lobby. I honestly think I got this from, um, this right here actually came from, this lamp came from um, Home Goods. Um, y'all this pillow actually came from Walmart this right here came from Ross um, I believe this came from Target it's like if you guys seen my Christmas bedding decor this is one of those pillows um, so this um, is an older pillow it came from Target actually this is super old this is like five six years old so I just keep my pillows and so I just put it on the bed this right here I just bought um, and this came from um, oh, this came from Ross as well this little throw right here came from Ross this down alternative comforter came from Ross um, this dresser came from Pier 1 um, and I got the dresser like uh, I want to say about five six months ago um, but I got the dresser from Pier 1 because it was going out of sale here in my area um, and they had it on sale like normally this dresser is like a thousand dollars because I have the other taller one that kind of sits up it's like um, um, it's not as wide as this one but it's like a taller dresser I, I don't know what you call those but um, so I, I got that but it's at my mom's house I actually gave it to my mom um, so but I got it on sale for 600 so that was $400 off of that this is all I just got these faux flowers from Hobby Lobby um, once again Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby this diffuser came from Walmart I actually love the idea of having a diffuser to me it just kind of actually creates that calming sense and I do have some lavender essential oils in there um, this plant I got from Hobby Lobby as well it was 50% off as well pretty much everything in here guys is 50% off so um, this picture frame Hobby Lobby this um, dream catcher Hobby Lobby this circular mirror that's like totally in now um, that came from Hobby Lobby and it was 50% off all of those picture frames except for the one that says blessed right here that was five dollars at Walmart I had to get it because it fits perfectly in that space um, but so all of these little canvases besides the one that says blessed all came from Hobby Lobby and all of them were 50% off this little dresser right here I got it from at home but as you guys can see it was supposed to have like some um, knobs here but my kids actually threw away the knobs that were actually supposed to go on the outside they were all like in a little pack um, but they freaking threw the knobs away so I have to go buy some more but um, so this bed right here I actually got this bed from Wayfair and the bed was only like $220 it wasn't expensive and this is a queen size bed right here y'all queen size bed and so this whole little tray this whole little tray setup thing, uh, the cup, the books, um, this right here, this vase, this little faux flower, and this cheetah all came from Hobby Lobby. All of it was 50% off. So overall, I think for decorations and stuff like that, I think overall I spent anywhere from $350 to um, $400 just on decor and that's including pillows, that's including like the, um, the bedding, everything in here. I spent about $350 to $400. Um, but yeah, y'all, and it didn't take me no time to really just put this stuff up. All of this stuff is put up with like those little simple nails. Um, they're like super simple, like those little nails that, let me see if I have them in here. No, don't have them in there. But they're just really simple nails. Like you just actually, like we even didn't have, like we didn't even have a hammer. So I used the end of this screwdriver. Um, so I just got a little simple nail and just 
tapped it up against the wall and hung everything because nothing in here pretty much is very heavy except for this mirror and this frame right here um but we already had some um screws in a wall like some big heavy duty screws in the wall so i hung up both of those frames um off of that but nonetheless y'all this is the room Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think. Like I said, if you guys are following me on my social media, then you have already seen this. But y'all, I really freaking love this room. I really love this room. All right, y'all, so we have made it to um, Hobby Lobby here in my hometown area. Um, but as you guys can see, I stopped at Burks, which this is the stuff that I got from Burks. I will show you guys a better, um, I'll show you guys a better picture of everything that I got once I get back to the house. So y'all, I would love to have this plant in my room. I just don't even know how much that would even be. Oh my God, this is huge. But just imagine if that's 89, if this is 89 right here, this little plant and it's like half the size, <laughs> just imagine this is probably about like two, $300. But I'm so into these plants now. Um, the other day I went to another Hobby Lobby and they had them like 50% off, so I was able to stack up. But man, I love Oh wow, they got a cute little sunflower section, 40% off. Alright y'all, so this plant ended up being $12 because it's like 70% off, so had to snag it. Cause like a lot of their stuff is like 70% off. I can tell people have come through this area, honey. Cause they have ransacked it. Okay, no cute little glam vases. Those flowers are too cute. Okay, let me see how much. 
that's forty dollars so that means that this lantern will be 20 should i get it i think so that's cute y'all so my hands are getting full let me go ahead and stop recording y'all i'm gonna catch y'all in the car empty 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 This stuff is so freaking empty. Oh, we will, Daddy. You be careful, That's too. Where That's where I'm headed to now. I gotta go down to Sarasota, Florida. What you gotta go to Florida for? Deliver some ice cream. Oh, uh, I didn't know you were delivering ice cream and stuff too. Oh yeah, I uh, Right now I'm putting them refrigerated presents. Oh uh, okay. all right y'all so i have made it back to the house sorry i had to cut the vlog short best friend called came home to the house ate some barbecue right here from bodacious if you're from the east texas area then you know about bodacious really good barbecue um but also um but yeah i got to talking to my best friend I had to go pick up my baby from my mom's so i really honestly forgot to update y'all so this is one of the plants that i got from michael's view of it but y'all this plant is huge and it was only like 33 dollars i got this plant right here uh, this one came from Burlington. It was only $16.99, so $17. Um, also had to stop by Bath & Body Works because they had like their sale going on. I don't know if it's still going on where you guys may be at, but, um, but where I am at, they had like a 50% off section. So um, I got these hand soaps. All of these smelled good, so these ended up being like $3.75, which I think that's pretty good um, for, you know, Bath & Body Works. So I got those three, and then I got like some wallflowers. Um, the other wallflowers are in the room, but y'all, this wallflower right here, uh, crisp morning air, when I tell you, please go pick it up it's like a strong masculine clean linen type of scent like it smells so freaking good like the moment that i smelled it i was like oh my god where are these at i have to buy like five of these so i have a bunch of these and my favorite wildflower of all time is rose water and ivy um so i got a few of these as well um Pretty much all my wildflowers are, wa are rose water and ivory and the crisp morning air. Um, and I did get a few candles. In which I got four. I got this one which is like a, a lemon and mint leaf one. Um, let me smell it. Let me see if I can give y'all a can I smell. Can I smell it? Smell it baby. It smells like lemon. Yeah. <laughs> so this smells like lemon, a little hint of, um, a little hint of mint. It also gives me like that lemon head. If y'all have ever had, had lemon heads, it gives me a lemon head type of scent. Also with a mixture of mint. So I like that. Um, my next one um, is, hey, don't pick up that other candle channel. These are heavy. Can I have these? My next these one is Fiji White Sands. Can I have these chips? You can have some, yeah. And Fiji smells like a feminine type of scent. It reminds me of like a little sweet perfume. Um, it definitely has a sweet 
like a sweet uh, scent to it. Can I see um, the camera? So that Can is I that one. The, the third candle that I got is Island Margarita. And this one smells like... This one truly smells like a um, fruity type of margarita drink. What do you think? You don't know. Boy, you know. Yeah. It really does smell like a fruity margarita type of drink. So I got that one as well. So, so. there's that stuff. So my husband is asleep. So I'm going to try to show you guys like um, some other few items that I got. Um, Michael's also had these big old lanterns, um, which I wanted to put this in my room somewhere. Um, so it was 50% off and they were regular price, like $40. So I got it for 20. Um, pretty much everything that I get is like 50% off, but hang on. Let me show y'all this other stuff. So I need to take this tag off completely, but here's this plant that I got from Michael's as well. It was 70% off and it ended up being like $10. So there's that plant. I got that from Burlington, $10. I got this plant, as you guys saw from Michael's, um, it was $12. There's my wildflower right here with that crisp um, morning air scentsy. I got that. Here is another one of my candles. It's and perfect peony. Mm-hmm. And then this right here I got from Burlington. It was $7.99 as well. Um, so I did get that and I got two of those. So one is here on my nightstand. Chandler, stop. Stop. And there's the other one right there. And then this little candle I got. It's like a masculine type of scent, but I got it from TJ Maxx. All right, y'all. So I am in the room just chilling. I'm so tired. But overall, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. It was just more so of like a chill, come hang out and shop with me type of vlog. Um, I also got to rant a little bit. Got to show you guys how I do my hair and how I get it shopping. But, um, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed today's vlog, then please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, then please consider subscribing. But I will go ahead and get up out of here, guys. And I will catch you guys in my next vlog. Bye, babies.